Hello everyone, this video is about instant swapping. So what is an instant swap? So we have these little badges here and then these icons. Instant swapping means I can take this icon and switch it with these others. So I'm already select selecting it. So I can go to here, I can go to here, and so on. Pretty cool. So how do we accomplish this? So What's cool about these is these are all instances of a component. So there's one component that controls all these. So if I set the size to wider on the component, all of these get wider, etc. Sort of like a CSS class. So to get this instance swap to work, what we need to do is we need to take these icons or whatever other icons you want to use, put them in a frame and make them components. And that'll be the first part. So let's just do a few to experiment over here. So I'm just going to create a frame with F. Okay, I'm just going to call this icons. Two. I already have another frame. Okay, now let's get some icons. So I'm going to go to plugins, iconify. That's something you can download for Figma. It's free. So I'm going to use this cat. I'm going to just drag it there. Shrink it a little bit. All right, let's put it there. And then dog. Drag it. There we go. All right, make it a little bigger. Here we go. Okay, so we got a cat and dog. Now what do we do? We make them components. So let's go to there to make a component, or you can do a keyboard shortcut. Mine is a Alt Command K for a Mac. Might be different for your computer. Okay, we got two components. Now what we want to do is let's kind of create that these uh, badges that I have there. So I'm going to come over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this component. That's the key. You got to use one of these, an instance of it. So I'm just going to click Alt and drag one over here like that. You can also um, copy paste. And now I'm going to click T for text. And I'm going to select both of these holding Shift. And then I'm going to click Shift A to make it an auto layout. So they both kind of work as one. And I'm going to make sure that these are both in the center with this. There we go. And I'm going to decrease the space between it so it looks a little better. Great. And now I'm going to add a little padding to the top and to the sides here. So I'm just going to stretch it out a little bit like that. That looks good. Um, you can't see this yet. This is the border radius. And then I'm going to give it a fill. So let's just use that. All right, that looks good. Let's give it an effect. I already have one. Great, that looks okay. So now what we want to do is we want to take this whole thing and make it a component. So let's select it and let's just click up here to create component. And now let's just take it off the screen because components um, like classes, uh, you change it one place, it changes everywhere. So you don't want to be changing the components uh, the master component in here. You want to be changing it out here, right? Okay, so now that we got this, um, this should be be able to access these because these are both components. And an instance of the component was put into here. So let's test that hypothesis. I'm just going to drag this over here. I'm going to zoom in, and we're going to find out if I did it right. So we got the dog. Hey, we got the dog and we got the cat. Check it out. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Cheers. Bye.